Apparently, there's a new Jubilee. Five anti-vaxxers versus two fakes. And one of them is a Hasanabi head. No, don't say no. This is literally political Jubilee. And also... They, juicers! Shut the fuck up! This isn't the fucking XQC broadcast, alright? And apparently one of the fucking... One of the fucking people in there is a Hasanabi head, so suck my cock. Anti-vaccine. 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 And we still got the Jordan Peterson debate with uh, 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 fucking Kyle Kalinske later, okay? I don't really have too much to say about fucking Elon Musk uh, pulling out of this deal at this moment. I got to read more about it. I am not vaccinated and I haven't been vaccinated. And I have two kids, they haven't been vaccinated either. And that's all vaccines. Uh, the whole uh, COVID pandemic kind of woke me up. It feels like discrimination when I tell people I'm anti vax or I haven't been vaccinated. I'm a pharmacist and when they put in with the COVID vaccination, I just felt really uncomfortable. It's just made me open my eyes to how many things are in vaccines and how much we don't discuss them in the medical community. My anti is toward COVID vaccines. Actually, truth be told, the rapid test we just took was the first COVID test I've ever taken. <laughs> I refused to take a COVID test. The vaccine was pushed so that they could rig the election and that's personally my belief. So you believe the election was rigged? I believe it was, yes. Cool. Growing up, I got most of my vaccines. However, I especially did not want to get the COVID vaccine. The media censorship was the biggest start to me, kind of like he said, waking up to this. We know ourselves better than going into a doctor who only sees us for a few minutes at a time. You said you were a pharmacist? Yeah. Uh, did you leave your work? You kind of implied that. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if yeah. Um, with the I love this fucking premise though. I love this premise because it's like five fucking freaks and then two people who can mask themselves as an anti-vaxxer. Now, in this video, I must figure out who the Hasanabi head is, okay? And also on top of that, I must figure out, I, I must make a lock on whether or not, because they're not going to be the anti-vaxxer, whether or not they are able to take the most important lessons that I've imparted on you, which is how to behave like a hog and also how to avoid the top of the hour ad break. Let's continue. Was the biggest start to me kind of like he said, waking up to this. We know ourselves better than going into a doctor who only sees us for a few minutes at a time. You said you were a pharmacist? Yeah. Uh, did you leave your work? You kind of implied that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with the increase of the vaccine mandate and having it required for the rest of the chain. Um, so I actually have a family member that does work from home from an independent male order pharmacy and she got me a gig there and since then things have been pretty chill so you left willingly they didn't like ask you to leave yeah so i used to actually i started as a teacher in elementary school and they actually asked me to leave because it was mandated that you had to be vaccinated to be in like a group of kids so that was really frustrating for me because but why does this motherfucker look like fred meister working with kids is a big passion of mine and the fact that I was fired from my career just because of a personal choice is like really upsetting to me. Yeah. So that's why I'm very passionate about this issue now. I was actually asked to leave nursing school. I started for a month and then they accepted my religious exemption and then a month into it said, never mind. So yeah, I looked out because I go to I go to college in uh, Oregon. And uh, at first they were like, no, you can't come in here without a vaccine and everything. But I was able to get the philosophical exemption. And then they wanted to test me weekly. And I was like, no, like, like I'm not doing that. And then um, after kind of going back and forth, they were like, okay, like, you're fine. Oh, oh um, <laughs> 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 I wrote Brian because in the waiting room, we were joking that his name was Brian and not Ryan. And then I... <laughs> That's okay. okay. He was able to get a philosophical exemption, which I had never heard of. There's no way you could get away with not having a COVID test. I feel like Nico's the Hasanabi head, by the way. Most people have gone through at least one by now. We've been like two years in. I could not believe that I got voted out first round. <laughs> if anybody is the mole, it's not me. That's for sure. How has a yeah? Why do they why do they clap like his ass, guys, dude? What the fuck? Relationships like friends and family. I had to miss a wedding that I was really excited for for one of my friends back in Indiana. She ultimately decided to ask everyone to be vaccinated because her grandparents were there, which I completely understood. But it was really heartbreaking to not be a part of that special day with her. Yeah. One side of my family refused to see me, so that was kind of disheartening. And I feel like people tie certain political views to my personal idea not to get vaccinated. I'm not 
a right and a right wing extremist, which I feel like a lot of people are associating me with. I am not just someone who is not vaccinated. I actually have natural immunity. I have contacted the virus before, and um, multiple studies have shown that natural. Okay, bro. Uh, this is this is real. If Jenna is the Hasanabe head, I'm gonna be very surprised because this is like this is exactly how a fucking anti-vaxxer would talk. Natural immunity actually lasts longer as far as resilience to um, contacting COVID again. The right to our own body is um, the opposite of tyranny that would normally be associated with that. Yeah, I'm very libertarian leaning. So Heck yeah. My, my ideas aren't like I line up with a Republican or Democrat. For me, it's yes. just we should have the ability to you know decide what we want to do. Yeah, and I just think it's scary too when the government starts to say like they're doing this for your own health and their safety and yeah. it's just funny like how all of a sudden the government started caring about your health wouldn't they have banned like smoking cigarettes yeah, like exactly. years ago yeah. like it's it like, just seemed like what dude okay that is not a house and head that's a real anti-vaxxer because they did do that they literally did that that is too authentically fucking idiotic to be someone who made that up oh my god if this is if that is literally the house i'm gonna lose it that is so good genius dude oh the government would have fucking banned cigarettes it's like oh wait they did that what are you talking about like a lot of censorship too like to not be able to like find any other information about like side effects I have a few friends who had like some bad side effects but you can't once you post that out there it's censored, censored. even yeah. the VAERS report there's thousands of reports yes. of people with like yes. vaccine side effects and people pretend like that's not a reality and I think it's interesting how they care about our health and everything but they say nothing about nutrition sunlight yes. uh w working out going to the gym getting outside and being around people that love you and stuff like that like that's good for your health instead they lock us in in a room <laughs> Uh, with like artificial lighting and paint and, and don't get sunlight and don't get to talk to people. Yeah, and then they put a mask on us, which is not healthy at all. Nico was throwing out a lot of buzzwords. Uh, he kept saying that he's he Nico is the Hassan head, I think. In pandemic, and I think he said jab. Very much so it looked like he was making a character and he was really trying to hit all the, the buttons. I was teaching first grade and a lot of those kids, because of the COVID lockdowns, they had never had any social experience for the past two years. And to act like it's pretty funny that this dude is like, uh, this is too unreasonable. What Nico is doing is too unreasonable. Like, bro, have you seen motherfuckers like you? Have you heard yourself? He's like, oh man, he's like throwing out terms like jab and pandemic. It's like, dog, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> that's exactly how like half the fucking psychos talk. Oh no, we're actually the reasonable ones. I think he's the Hassan Abbe head. I don't like know. Like that isn't detrimental to their social health, to their mental health. It very Where frustrates me. What? San Bernardino County. Okay. I was saying, I personally don't think that it's really anybody's business if yeah. I've been vaccinated or not. And I don't think that I should not. Okay, I can fucking call it out. But when I see an anti-vaxxer call him out, I don't like that because anti-vaxxers are fucking stupid. When I'm calling him out as the Hassan Abbe head and the fucking fake anti-vaxxer, that's different than him being like, oh, the Oh, I don't know. He's using a lot of terms that we would never use. Like, oh, just shut the fuck up. Not be able to go certain places, eat certain places, or even enroll my kids in school because they haven't been vaccinated. It's just not, it's not fair. And it's like really nobody's business. It's my, my health, you know. You said none of your, your kids don't have any vaccines, no. right? How I have, that I've never had. Like going and getting into school. Uh, well, they're three and two oh, months. Okay. So okay. she's, they're not old enough yet. But um, yeah, I haven't been vaccinated either. And it, it hasn't affected me in any way. Um, when I get sick, I get sick for like one or two days and then I'm done, yeah. I'm back healthy. And I only get sick maybe like two times a year. You said that you moved down to California? Yeah, yesterday. Why? I'm trying to get out. Yesterday. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of California. Yeah, no, so why too. did you move to California if it's so hard to go? For sure, California? yeah. So uh, lived in Texas for like 10 years. Uh, then I moved to Oregon for school. And then uh, I got a job offer um, as an internship here in California. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, yeah, all the mandates and everything I don't like, but I mean, it's California. It's kind of like that kind of the dream to come and live here. So I'm trying to switch with you. I want to go. Bro, what the fuck? Okay, dude. It's come on, Nico. What the fuck? You can't admit that. It's California, brother. What is wrong with you? You're supposed to say I'm reluctantly here. What the fuck? I've already full blown. I think Nico is the Hassan Abi head, and he is uh, cucking himself. Go to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll take be your back old soon, spot. I'll sure. take your own spot. Yeah. He went to university in Oregon and somehow wasn't 
required to get vaccinated there. Why would someone move from a more conservative area to a liberal? I think the concept of this is really funny, too, because it's like, they're literally like, who's authentically a dumbass and who's not? Like, they are, they're like, they're a bunch of dumbasses who are sitting around trying to figure out who is more authentically a fucking dumbass? Like, I'm a real dumbass, and this motherfucker doesn't seem like a real dumbass to me. Rural area if they were anti-vax. <laughs> he got clapped because he foolishly admitted that he, like, wants to live in California. If you think the mole is still in the box, and you'd like to continue playing the game, please raise your hand. <sighs> Ask who everybody voted for in the elections. I voted for. Oh, you're talking about the actual election? Yes. Oh, I voted for Trump. Again, like I'm libertarian. That isn't really my. Oh, that's interesting. A libertarian who voted for Donald Trump. That's so strange and unique. Please tell me more about how Donald Trump, a fucking fascist police state, military state candidate that ran on a campaign of restricting freedom of movement and violated the non aggression principle uh, numerous fucking times. Uh, 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 tell me more about how that corresponds to your libertarian worldview. That's so sick. Oh, also, I'll have you know that he's the one who made, remember, made the fucking vaccines personally, hand-delivered them, and urged people to take them. I'm not a Republican, but he definitely was a better choice over what we have now. Yeah, I'm libertarian as well, and I, I actually believe that neither of the candidates were good, and I did not feel comfortable supporting either of them, so I did not vote. Right. I didn't vote either. I haven't voted in like two years. I haven't voted either. I felt really uncomfortable with just how nasty everything was getting. Everything kept getting more increasingly cloudy. I felt like as the election came closer and closer. So I just didn't feel like I had enough information regarding. I forgot that there's two fakes, by the way. I like that there's no longer one fake, but two fakes. The dynamic is better this way. Um, I don't, I can't tell who the second one is. Nico kind of gave himself away quickly. I think that is the Hasanabi head in the bunch. I get that. I mean, they're both really divisive, but like, you know, the effects matter. And like seeing, especially what's going on now, I mean, we might not like either of the candidates, one of them getting in and we got to do our best, you know, to get the, the least of two evils. I think that is important. I mean, I personally voted for Trump. Um, I actually worked on uh, his campaign because I actually do. Um, I don't like everything he says, but I like his policies. Um, and I believe that he allows people to live their lives and doesn't try to get involved with all of your business. Wait, so you said you Okay, I can't tell if she's faking it or if she's actually this authentically dumb. And she is the one who brought up the cigarette thing. So I literally can't tell. Either this person is like very good and is bringing up like new talking points that I haven't even like considered about how fucking stupid. Like there are certain points that she brought up where I was like, damn, that's really fucking dumb. I hadn't even thought about it like that. That's awesome. And... And she keeps, she's a gift that keeps on giving, you know what I mean? She keeps delivering fucking fire, and I respect that. While also simultaneously, uh, you know, I am in awe of her stupidity. So if she's actually faking it, then much respect. Straight up. He worked on his campaign. Did you, you guys didn't have to get vaccinated for that, or? So that was a 2016 was campaign. 2016. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. I don't think he would have required it for the 2021, but I, I would work to the 2016 one, okay. didn't do anything for the 2020. Asabi, I wanted to ask you more about your stance because we mentioned earlier that in general you don't feel like it's Bro, Katie, Katie's like a pharmacist who's an anti-vaxxer and she's like sniffing at all the other ones. Like sometimes when I see people like Katie, I'm truly confused. I'm like, bro, you seem smart. Like what the fuck happened? Like there was just a gigantic breakdown somewhere and I don't know what it is. Like you legitimately seem smart. And I don't know if it's because uh, like... You know, it's the it's the attractive paradox or whatever. It's anyone's business. We kind of touched on autonomy. I wanted to hear more about why you specifically decide not to vaccinate yourself and your children. So I grew up very like uh, religious, I guess you could say. And my belief like vaccine. Dude, I, don't, I think Asabi is the uh, other fake vaxxer, by the way. She's not giving me like clear cut uh, anti-vaxxer signs because the reason why I'm saying that is because like usually I see like I mean we've seen a lot of like uh, black conservatives anti-vaxxers and whatever and they're like they're they're usually way way more confident like most anti-vaxxers across the board are way way more confident and Asabi on the other hand is like not you know popping off right now. Things are like a no-go like we don't believe that 
um, we should put like poison in our bodies and like we think that we should just handle everything in a holistic way so she was like the religion religious reason is she thinking about this on the spot and first corinthians 2 5 says you know our faith shouldn't be trusted in the wisdom of men but in the power of god exactly. and so for me it's like that doesn't mean that like man has ultimate wisdom but like what they try to push of like this is what i'm not that's not a 100 lock boys i'm not saying asabi is a 100 lock i'm just simply stating that it could be her what you need to do like that automatically throws red flags for me he used a bible verse for me that was like okay he believes in kind of like the same thing i believe in biblically speaking for me it's like you back when you know in pharaohs in those days they were killing babies and then with the vaccine it's like i, I just don't trust it because yeah. you're trying to mandate something kill that could possibly harm or kill someone and as a pharmacist i know how much big pharma puts money in this the left for so long has been like, oh we're against big pharma and then all of a sudden they jump in and it's like damn fucking toxic masculinity mason let's go you shut her ass up dude look at that baby man explain that shit brother fuck yeah that's right that's right you see that Oh, we're against big pharma and then all of a sudden that. they jump in and it's like look. harm or kill someone and as a like pharmacist it. i know how much big pharma puts money in this the left for so long has been a oh we're against love that she loves mason by the way she's like yeah white man go ahead shut her ass up big pharma and then all of a sudden that. they jump in and it's like that. everyone needs to listen to what pfizer says everyone needs to listen to what moderna and J says. Yeah. she said that she was very much into the pharmaceutical industry Okay, with that with that kind of interjection though and mansplaining, maybe he might be a Hasanabi head, you know what I'm saying? She kind of said she wasn't very political and I feel like at this point it is kind of um, a political statement if you are not vaccinated. What? Why she get clapped? If you feel I think it's because she was the one who looked the most alt to be fair. I feel like the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue playing the game. Please raise your hand. We need a majority vote, and since it's just the two of you, instead we're going to ask, can you share your suspicions? Let's air it out and let's have a conversation. I know it was Nico. That's number one. Yeah. <laughs> just because I think he was throwing out buzzwords, like he developed the character. And he also talked about how he didn't have to get the vaccine at first in Oregon. Go to college in uh, Oregon. I was pretty confident it was Nico. I don't know who the other person would be. I don't suspect anyone else. I think it was Ryan too, honestly, because yeah. Ryan, when he first said, this is the first COVID test I've ever taken. I trust you. I do trust you, but you do seem very much like you've researched a lot. Neither of you guys voted. <laughs> Bro, bro, he literally admitted it. What do you mean? He said, I don't trust you because you look like you're researched a lot. You're too smart to be an anti-vaxxer. Okay, I guess Mason is the an I think Mason might be the fucking, yep. All right, Mason, good job. Good job on that last second self-report, dude. He literally said, uh, you seem like you've researched a lot, so I don't really trust you that much. I do trust you, but you do seem very much like you've researched a lot. Neither. I love that Azabi is like, yeah, yeah, she is. She seems too smart to be an anti-vaxxer. Unlike us, we're too dumb. You guys voted also in the election, you said, correct? Right. I do find right. that kind of interesting just because I feel like it is so polarized. I'm yeah. totally with you on that mentality, but like just being around a lot of libertarian circles, there are a lot of people. And you guys Okay, if this motherfucker is the Hassan Abi head, I'm gonna lose my mind, dude. No shot. Both kind of said you. He seems so authentically I really, a judge. I honestly don't really have a strong political view, honestly. Where we are now in the world, it's it almost is a statement to not be vaccinated. It's too good. No shot, dude. It's like way too genuine to be. There's no shot. Now it's not just like oh I wasn't provided enough information. I wasn't, you can go to CVS and get it for free. You are kind of making a political statement whether you like it or not, if you aren't vaccinated. Um, I assume most of us don't agree with the mainstream media or like watch a lot of that because obviously there's a narrative that's pushed there. So I was gonna ask what type of media outlets do you guys I follow um, the Daily Wire, Matt Walsh, Ben Shapiro, Let Candace Owens. Um, those are probably like- You know who the fucking real Hazard I've hit is? The fucking Jubilee editor on this one. They really popped off. They're like making fun of libertarians and shit. What's going on? Jubilee used to never do that stuff. Who I listen to the most. The um, Daily Wire I've had a, a little bit of trouble with because Ben Shapiro has really like promoted vaccines. Yeah, yeah I, like, I, I, do like I disagree with that part. I like yeah. Candace Owens, but 
yeah, I don't know. I've kind of gone on and off of Ben Shapiro. But I like Steven Crowder. Uh, I like Dr. Robert Malone, Hank Pecker. There's a lot of different streamers and uh, media outlets that I think do push. And more like, you should be able to choose what you want. No! Oh! Are you fucking joking? No! Dude, he's so good! He's so fucking good! I'm dead. I just got a vaccine injury, boys. Dude, he was so good. He was so good, he got me pissed off about how fucking dumb his arguments were. That is brilliant, dude. The only time I suspected him was when he said... The only time I suspected him was when he said, you're, you're, you're well-researched. The only time I was like, okay, that's, that's kind of sus. It was because he literally said, you, you're, you're too well-researched to, to be an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> Libertarian school teacher? Come on, man. Dude, he, oh, God, he's so good. That was incredible. That was fucking incredible. Dude. Dude. Dude, this community is so awesome. I swear to God. We are, oh, God, we are breaking the minds of so many in, the, in this generation and the next. Holy fuck. As soon as he cut the woman off, though, I was like, that's, that's awesome. I'll be head right there. Bro, we got to run it back. We got to run it back. Streamers and uh, media outlets, I think, do push a more like you should be able to choose what you want for your own body. Now I feel bad. I said he looks like Fred Meister. God damn it. You are way better looking than Fred Meister. King. Medical field. Um, and that is an area where you do have to typically be vaccinated. I think being anti-vax is a big political statement. So that looked a little off to me. Wait, I didn't go back enough. Sorry. Like promoted vaccines. Yeah, yeah I, like, I, I, do like I disagree with that part. I like, yeah. he, said, he said, I like Ben Shapiro, but he's too pro-vaccine. And she, yo, he's literally serving them, dude. He fucking, he marinated them so hard. She's like, yeah, yeah, I agree. Candace Owens, but yeah, I don't know. I've kind of gone on and off of Ben Shapiro. But I like Steven Crowder. Uh, I like Dr. Robert Malone, Hank Pecker. There's a lot of different streamers and uh, media outlets. I I'm so proud. This is the proudest moment. This is one of the proudest moments of my streaming career, dude. Also, I'm not wrong. The editor fucking also dropped that in there. Wow. Wow. That was beautiful. That was brilliant. That was fucking beautiful, dude. I am so proud that this dude, Mason, was so fucking good. Can we see the screenshot I used for Hank? Yeah, he just said it. Look. Uh, I like Dr. Robert Malone, Hank Pecker. Listen, he was so fucking good. He was so good that he even debated me. The only time, the only time I thought he was suspicious was when he said, like even Robert Malone mentioned, like literally the moment leading up to him saying Hank Pecker, when he brought Robert Malone up, I was about to fucking yell at him. I literally was like, up until this moment, up until the Hank Pecker mention, I was like, oh, no, this motherfucker is definitely an anti-vaxxer. What is Hank Pecker? <clears throat> Hank Pecker, ladies and gentlemen. What is Hank Pecker, Matt? Now, many, many people have asked who Hank Pecker is, but the real question is what Hank Pecker stands for. That's right. A lot of people thought that Hank Pecker was not a real character. A lot of people had the audacity to say, but Hank Pecker is a libtard masquerading himself as a conservative. But what Hank Pecker is, is not a single man. Hank Pecker is just an idea. Hank Pecker loves guns. Hank Pecker loves babies. And Hank Pecker loves Jesus. That's right. One of the foremost authorities on anti-vaxxer rhetoric in the nation, Hank Pecker, has taken all the libertarians to the Holy Land. Valhalla! Anti-vax Valhalla, baby.
And that's right, Hank Pecker absolutely drives a Ford F-150 pickup truck. Waiting for his son. What will he do when he's like? Is he gonna commentate on random videos? Go moan and cry. He can't keep getting away with it every 